Hi, Ara. Hello. I am currently looking at how to play game again. <laughs> how do you do this? How do you play this game? When the snow just voyager, como estas? I hope you are doing well. I am tired. <laughs> I need another cup. And I farted. Oops. Sorry. You. You have a lot of work, and you're very sleepy. Question mark. Hey, same. If that's the case. <laughs> I hope you get some rest soon. I'm sorry. Actually, that reminds me. I have been sitting this entire day, so I shall stand. I hope you get some rest soon. And like the poster in the back says, hang in there. <laughs> Please take some time to practice self-care, hydrate, stretch, whatever you need. Bed burrito is also a nice idea. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't remember what voice I gave this guy. Hey, Mr. CEO, sir, be very careful when taking your lunch break. I think someone is shamelessly raiding the fridge. Are you saying that sometimes your lunch disappears? Yes! I can't believe it! Do they think the fridge stocks up automatically when they take something out? Well, it sure doesn't. When the fridge is empty, that's it! And no poor sap is going to keep stocking it up. Nobody thinks you're a sap, Patrick. Come on. The eyeball. It is also working hard. Plus five defense for ten minutes. Ooh. And I can buy Anima. Is that this one? Yes. Anima Fountain. A recent addition to the company's equipment, fountains are sources of Anima, which comes as a welcome pleasure after after hectic meetings. Mark regrets passing the solary margin on to customers, but at least in his place, the price of Animal Lion isn't soaring. <laughs> what? Hey, <clears throat> <I> Bol. <laughs> I am doing well. I am also tired. Also been swamped by work recently. Hang on, boss. Is that really you? Wow, what a bold new look. I remember you being taller and scarier. This is definitely different. Imagine you haven't shown much interest in management's reports, but there have been some alarming going on recently. For example, the sorrows have now decided to ignore your old rules and are simply doing as they please. All departments are feeling the strain. Hi, Hara. Yeah, we should just all take a nap. <laughs> Collective nap. <laughs> Another week in hell, so to speak. Yikes. I think I read this last time. <clears throat> This trip big 462. A little anima in return for a pleasant surprise? Sure. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Coffee! This place. Thanks. Hi, Haru. Choose the next apartment. Industrial pollution department. Upgrade next 
marine curses. I get to upgrade my farts. It will be even more powerful. Alright, what is this? Industrial Pollution Department. The Industrial Pollution Department can be found on one of the most highly renovated floors of the company's building. A great many modifications have been carried out over the years. This is due to the fact that the various energy industries have actually only existed on Earth since the end of the 19th century. Prior to this, the department was primarily subcontracted out to help those departments responsible for mental and physical illnesses. All that changed once death became aware of environmental unrest on Earth. What? <laughs> One does not simply walk into the industrial pollution department? Hmm. Perhaps that would be more effective if I said it in a deep voice. Hmm. <gasps> it's a pumpkin! Yeah. Look at my farts! They're very powerful. Boss, welcome to the industrial pollution department. So, uh... Oh, it smells like a sewer here. Mr. Grimes has increased the minions' work pace by at least 89%. I scheduled a meeting between the two of you, but... <laughs> oh, crap! <laughs> ah! I stepped in Booma oil again. Yuck! Oh, I like the music. The environment is so cool, too. It's very. Uh oh. No explode. Oh my gosh, look at it! It's me! <laughs> Pumpkin boy. Boy. <laughs> Splurty. When Gordon Grimes is dissatisfied with a blobby or patrol's performance, or if they're getting too dissident and not respecting his managerial advice, he doesn't suspend or even fire them. He literally recycles the problematic minion and turns them into a spurty. Sad. And this one's a blobby. <laughs> Oh, the monster design in this game is so cute. It's very... I don't know. It, it speaks to me. <laughs> Blobby. The Industrial Pollution Department is a treasure, treasure trove of magical and chemical anomalies. Many of the CEO's necromantic creations have been modified to be a better fit for Gordon Grimes' factory project. Blobbies make up the bulk of the team of mutant workers working under the sorrow. Tiki is recyclable and environmentally friendly. Yeah! We love an eco-friendly android made with biodegradable products. <laughs> Ingredients? Materials? Biodegradable interior. Wait. What is this? A set of amino friends? <laughs> That's so funny! Nice. If you didn't want Tylenol, you can now get its knockoff, Acetaminopane. Oh my gosh, look at my fart! It has eyes! <laughs> Biodegradable ingredients? Yes, yes. That's not. Right? The music is so good, too! What does this mean? I feel like. I can go that way, but no? No? Okay. Oh, <gasps> it's a big one! Petrol. Colossi covered in a vile substance, petrols are to blobbies what spooksmen are to ghosts. Yet Grimes considers them to be hierarchically equivalent to the other minions in the pollution department. 
I'm the boss. I don't need to delegate. Interesting. Sounds like a bad boss. Fine. <clears throat> yeah, Voyager is petrol and I am blobby. Ah, uh, I no longer remember what these things mean. I think Osha is the boons, the rogue part, I think. So you get perks from him. I don't remember what Prismium and Anima are. I guess we'll just go get more perks. That's never a bad thing, right? Stop interrupting and listen to the whole explanation. It's utterly hopeless. Nothing. It's impossible for me to take anything. You're saying seriously, Mr. Techie. You're claiming that animas are well engineered enough to heal and all that, but that's not all. Wait for it. You can also use them to reveal hidden rooms in the building? Get your head out of your post-its, why don't you? <laughs> Isn't oh, Asha the thing that oversights workplace? Is it? Wait! Osha. Stairs. It is. Occupational and health administration. I missed it. For death's sake, Jerry! Uncle has been overseeing the Anima project since the beginning. It's a new feature we've been working on together. I'm sure I have a better idea of how it works than you. There we go. What a surprise. You're pulling rank again? Oh. I missed it. It's sad. <laughs> Something about secret rooms. Secret rooms are filled with rare and precious items. Prismiums, things to increase your HP, your mana, etc. Have a good route around and see how many you can find. You'll need to consume an anima burst to reveal the location of a secret room. Interesting. Oh hi y'all, Midori-kun. Thank you for the care kit. Everybody stretch. Deep breath. Unshrimp and hydrate. Oh. My thumb is bleeding. Why is my thumb bleeding? Uh, okay, I will ignore. <laughs> Just but a flesh wound. How do you anima burst? Don't, don't worry about it, boy. <laughs> I'm sure I just like nicked something earlier. Please request assistance. It's fine, I'm fine. It'll probably fix itself in a couple minutes. Doesn't seem to be bleeding too hard. Press LB to heal yourself. Golden Anima is hold LB. It's fine. Tis but a flesh wound. Nods, nods. Is there one here, maybe, that I can take a look at? No? 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 These little places where the ceiling is kind of where you can kind of get into the ceiling are very suspicious. Quantum Solary. Gain a large amount of Solary as long as you don't suffer any damage before you reach the elevator. I'll probably be fine, right?
What's the thing that sounds like a bouncy ball? Ooh! Hello! Hello? Oh my god! No! I would like to keep my money. Fight! Go! Go forth! Kill enemy for me. Nice! My fart is so strong! <laughs> Jump and dive at lightning speed. Speed? Wow. Um... Maybe... This one. I do like fast zoomies more. Size or? Death is a real history buff, though he doesn't like to admit it or even talk about it. But just one look at his magnificent collection of trophies will tell you all you need to know about his interest in history's most noteworthy characters and events. Medieval times were a non-stop procession of alliances and epic sagas, and Death took rare delight in the idea of welcoming Eleanor of Aquitaine to the land of the dearly departed. Okay, it's bleeding more for some reason. So I will be right back. I'm gonna get a tissue. The strongest of farts! Thank you for the clip! <laughs> I'm not sure why it's bleeding this much. I don't think it... Interesting. So I've accidentally nicked my fingers multiple times. Probably every time I cut my nails. Um, at least one of them starts bleeding because I cut too close to the pink part. Or something along those lines but usually it hurts <laughs> for one um but this time it didn't even hurt so i'm really surprised to see it bleed this much i'm just trying to keep the tissue on my finger it's not working very well <laughs> Probably should have gotten the band-aid and said, okay, okay, it's on. Shall stay on. Quite snug. Probably went a bit deeper than expected. Oh, probably. Oh, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> it's on my thumb. I need my thumb for joystick motion. No. This is going to be really awkward. Okay, well. Can I use the d-pad instead? No? Set. Cool. This is fine. Nanny nanny. My stream is kind of lagging maybe because of JP server. Oh no. I think my stream might be lagging in general i'm not sure why that's not good i'll have to take a look at the encoding later sorry about that it was struggling last week too It improved suddenly? Hmm? Is it because of game 
maybe? Uh, let me lower the resolution. Maybe that'll help it a little bit. Okay, let me check if it looks correct on stream. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. <clears throat> Is this better? Is it still lagging? I mean, I did wait a couple minutes for it to stop bleeding <laughs> earlier. But it started bleeding again once I started playing. I guess it's in one of those weird areas where it opens when I use my thumb. Which is kind of unfortunate considering the circumstances. No lag? No? Okay. I think it might be because of the resolution. Hello, Mr. Osha. Um, I like fake farts and I cannot lie. <laughs> We're gonna make my farts deal more damage. This curse has a slight hint of injustice. Mmm, yum. <laughs> but have you seen my farts? They're so good, look at it! <laughs> Toxic. Yay, extra soul. Let's see. We can go to the Sanager's office. I'm not sure what that means. Solary deposit or the vault. Let's go to the office. <laughs> okay, but please change the stream's name too. Okay. Give me one sec. I like big farts and I cannot lie. There you go. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Cheeky cursed arrow. Hello there. I'm still looking for. Oh, I got hit. Oh, no. Hmm. This might be kind of hard with my weird thumb. Oh! Oh, maybe perhaps this? I don't have any anima though. Oh no. Where do you get anima? Excuse me. But, where do you get anima? I guess people just drop it? Around places? 2022 was chaos shiki. 2023 is now cursed shiki. The evolution of shiki. It was wholesome for the first year that I was- Oh my gosh! Hello! Oh, well, there goes my money bag. Oh no. Oh no. I died. <gasps> rest in paperwork? I don't want to rest in paperwork. What? This is pretty cool though. Performance review. It shows me all the things I did. Killed 148 enemies. Grabbed a bunch of money. Killed a solary. Killed five massive minions and equipped five different weapons. Nice. What's this? Ooh. It's your run history. First death. I died to... <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Nuclear waste. 
Oh, I leveled up too. What are these for? Start the game with a basic anima. Permanently unlocks bleed curses and relaxation rooms may appear. Yes, I am literally an underworld salaryman. So true. That was a really funny jingle. Okay, something came up earlier, but I missed it. What was it? Nope. It's gone. Whoa, this is a lot. Okay. CEO's office, where it all ends. This is the nickname Death Inc.'s employees have bestowed upon the CEO's office. Despite the countless number of complex criteria customers' souls have to meet to have a nice death, the final decision ultimately belongs to Death himself. He has to give his authorization, approving their damnation with his enchanted seal, and muttering a short solemn phrase that is known to him and him alone. But recently, monotony has crept into the usual protocol. Employees from Death's closest circle are permitted to come and go in the CEO's office as they please. Joe realized he was wasting too much time talking to Jocelyn in the morning, so he got permission to set up an area of the large office to store all his statistical data collection instruments. Death doesn't care. He's long past caring about protocol. He hasn't even tried to figure out how Pump Quinn, Pump Quinn, his lowly intern, manages to move freely throughout this most private and top secret floor of Death Inc. Yeah, the first boss is called Brad, and he's head of security. <laughs> a nice tie, a black suit that rivals the boss's own cloak in terms of class and darkness. Brad is a perfect fit for his job deciding which souls can cross the ethereal threshold of Death Inc. and which should be ejected with a well-aimed kick up the backside because their time has not yet come. He loves being a gargoyle because it gives him the clout he needs to kick ghosts' bust butts. That was really hard. I do also love... Pump Quinn. This is the last attempt. <gasps> boss! Oh, boss, I'm so pleased to see you. And you've got your pig book with you. Isn't it adorable? Did you know your pit book notes everything down for you? Just press that and you're done. Really is very cute, but um. I don't really like the way it's looking at me. <laughs> she gave with a cute voice. Look at them! Pump Quinn, cute. Adorable, must protect. Lisa. Pump Quinn, production and management intern. Ever since childhood, Pump has been a big fan of Death's career. The room at their parents' house is plastered with posters of Death Inc.'s founder at the height of his power. It also contains a collection of merchandise of all types, from the most common to the rarest of limited edition collector's items. A graduate of the Sepulchral School of Eternal Vanity Management, SSEVM, Pump had their sights set on an internship at Death Inc. Thanks to a lot of determination and insistence, Pump found a place managing the agenda of Death himself. This news made it the second greatest day of their non-life. Look at them. They're so cute. Where to? What's this? Hello. Renovation. Inspiration. Architecture. Art. Passion. Imminence. Uh, Reverend. I just wanted to talk to you about- Silence! You're breaking her concentration. No. It doesn't work like that at all. You've interrupted her focus. She is displeased with you. Why have you deigned to interrupt her? 
Can we talk business and discuss the office renovation, Reverend? Once and for all. Undoubtedly. But remember that her works of art are not yours to place wherever you like. You must also honor the terms of each order in gold ingots. And ingots. Good grief. Well, at least you have your head screwed on. Oh, <gasps> decorations! Yes. Oh no. There's so many. <laughs> this is Hades all over again. Spooky pumpkins. Stop giving them names. You're making a certain intern uneasy. Or toys, toys everywhere. Have you counted them? At least you can't say the boss forgot you this Christmas. <laughs> she keeps virtual wallet shivers on sore. <laughs> so true. I think in memory of Pumpkin. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be fine with it. It'll be fine, right? My tissue fell off. This is incredibly annoying. Stay on, please. Oh, and you can get stuff for the break room too. That's cool. A mere fragment of her ineluctable genius. She congratulates you on something. This person looks like the designer from The Incredibles. Muriel. Ha. Huh. Because mural, ha, huh. nice one. Artist, painter, and performer. On Earth, Miss Muriel the Reverend, note, despite the excellent research abilities of Death Inc.'s archive team, we were unable to confirm whether that's actually her real name, or perhaps some fanciful nom de plume. Was a highly controversial artist who caused quite the stir in the gossip rags wherever she went. Each of her works was so controversial that they all, without fail, end up causing some sort of argument. While intellectuals came to blows on TV sets, Muriel simply went on smiling her enigmatic smile. Her rare contributions were limited to, were limited to a few maxims of her own creation, which proved to be as cryptic as they were convoluted. And no mode, yeah! Maybe if I ignore tissue, it will stay on. It was in turn inspired in Anna Wintour. Who's that? Also cryptic. And incredible person of their time. Come on, boss! On a scale of 0 to 5, how on fire are you? I'd say... A tepid 2.5. Or perhaps a toasty three. And let's crank the thermometer up to ten! Come on, let's break in your brand new weight room! Why don't you give us the guided tour? Hey. Hang on a second. Have you turned my old torture chamber into a gym? Don't you think that's going a bit too far? Waste not what, not bust! This new room is designed for you to train with the equipment you've chosen to invest in. Each time you buy a scythe, cloak weapon, or even a spell from Joe, you can come straight here to try it out on my insistent. Ta-da! Claudy! She's been chief editor of Vogue magazine since the 80s. She's basically the fashion police? Jeez. Whoa. That's incredible. Ah, uh, don't worry. This time it's all above board. Claud has consented to being your sparring partner. I've trained him to steal him himself against your attacks. So don't be afraid to really let loose. Don't forget to stay 100% corporate, 100% disco. This is... This scythe. <laughs> Sad clawed noises. Yes, alright. I'll be careful with your shirt. 
Just the shirt? And your moccasins. Your Uggs, so to speak. Oh, there's more! Claude's damned soul must have gotten lost somewhere along the way. Either that, or he wasn't ready to hang up his calculator just yet. So he sent his resume into Death Inc. as soon as he heard that the accounting department was hiring. He wasn't offered the position right away, because Claude's soul showed up to the interview without his head! His torso, arms, and legs floated in all by themselves. The level of administrative confusion was Dantesque. Because nobody knew whether it might just be a simple ghost who'd decided to worm their way into the Death Inc. workforce. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what a funny place. Look at the pumpkin! Pumpkin, look! Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is the upgrade tree that you get for doing things. What's this? Oh, collection of all the curses we've looked at. Oh dear. Why is everybody either high energy or dead in this place? Haha. Uh -huh. Bad joke. Boss, boss, boss! Good morning or evening, whatever, not important. The SARS are out of control, quotas have risen. Astronomically, I'll spare you to the details. You got a few ingots to spend? Let's do this real quick before I kick the bucket. Oh, and how's you? How's the family? How's life? <laughs> Sounds like my workplace too, to me. Same. What is this? An O to elegance, but mostly to sharpness. Kill five, 50 out of 50 enemies. So I can get it for one ingot? What? I got it for one ingot. But what is it? What did I get? <laughs> I got Shakespeare, but what's Shakespeare? Is it a weapon? Oh, maybe... I, I guess it's a weapon? Oh, and you get discounts based off of the stuff you do. That's cool. Alright, what's food? I think these are... These look like... More perks? Whoa. And then these are just... Expensive. <laughs> Love me some GMO chicken. I don't know what I bought. <laughs> oh, it's at the very bottom. I guess... Shakespeare, the author, is technically a spear. Each time you explore the company, it grants you different performance-based bonuses that you can review in your score appraisal. You can earn precious ingots to invest with Joe, Death Inc.'s manager, to unlock new weapons, consumables for the shop, etc. I see. Joe, office manager. This is what happens when you drink too much black coffee. In fact, the coffee Joe drinks is now so strong it once got him in a chokehold. Well, not the coffee itself, of course, but rather the sugar lump he likes to dip in it to warm himself up. Since he's incapable of focusing on anything for longer than a second, he accidentally mixed up his usual cup of sugar with a stock cube that expired three years ago. <gasps> oh no. Oh. Ooh. Chicken stock coffee. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Item of available shake spear. <laughs> oh my god, it's me for real, for real. <laughs> not like this! Look at him, he's spazzing! 
And he's still going for more. Joe, that's not healthy. Hey, who are you? Hang on, what is that? Surprise, Mr. CEO, sir. While you were taking care of the sorrows, I was dealing with the meetings you put on hold. I'm delighted to announce that Mrs. Miri Miss Muriel the Reverend has returned to work. Muriel? Who? Oh, yes, that Muriel. Good grief. If I've understood correctly, it's an evolving pictorial sequence. A little unsettling at first glance. But note the contrast between the richness of the sculptured altar and the simplicity of this barely scribbled upon post-it. Fascinating. And... Did Muriel provide any information about... Um, her work? Uh, yes, of course, Mr. CEO, sir. This time, her subject is... Um... Uh, um the onerousness of work. Apparently, she was inspired by your brush with burnout. Uh. <laughs> I love it too. There's so many references and the tone is so nice. The more difficult it is, the more epic and representative of the hard work you do her creations become. This is the Breakdown series. Wow, that's so on the nose. Come now. Mr. CEO, sir, I believe you and Muriel have already met. You know how it is with artists. Oh my gosh. The Breakdown series. Each time you successfully complete a run, you will be given the chance to turn the difficulty up a notch. This will take the form of pictures created by Muriel the Reverend. The artist you're sponsoring. Each difficulty level is ranked by breakdown number. Breakdown 1 is basic difficulty, while breakdown 2 will be a bit more challenging, and so on and so forth. It goes without saying that breakdown 11 will prove to be a rather sophisticated endeavor, and one reserved for only the most enthusiastically insane employees. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. So this is the skulls, I guess, part. Oh my gosh, Patrick is also drinking coffee. Everybody is drinking coffee. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Oh, hi. Jocelyn. Boss, well, I sure am glad to see you again. Yes, yes, it's so nice to catch up, but let's get the small talk, shall we? In accordance with Bulletin B66, you may not access the elevator until you sign a form. Don't make that face. Rule the rules, so let's go. I think those are, like, the other employees. Yeah, because that... Somebody just walked by with a paper bag on their face. Jocelyn. Flux Logistics Manager. Jocelyn began her career as the second ever Death Inc. employee. She was hired right after the cloak. Can you believe it? She was initially hired as the hourglass, but her formidable efficiency soon saw her rising through the rank ranks. The CEO promoted her to the role of water clock, and then after numerous negotiations, during which Jocelyn Demonstrated her hunger to succeed, she became Flux Logistics Manager. In plain English, this means her essence controls the network of Death Inc.'s elevators. It goes without saying that she is single-handedly the heart and soul of the whole company. Well, although she is a bit scary, Jocelyn has always put this trait to good use. Thanks to the right training and a big smile, your elevator phobia is now a thing of the past. <laughs> Yes, they're- they're probably interns. <laughs> I wish I could pause to see what exactly they are. Choose your contract. So it looks like... Um... I don't get to see what this is. I'm not sure what this means. 
I get a good deal, but in return I minus 10 health, I think? Or I can get Shakespeare. Let's try Shakespeare, I guess. Fasten your seatbelts, if there were any. <laughs> Shakespeare. Back in the days of yore, the company was in its infancy, and Death still enjoyed working out in the field, without having to spend too much work time worrying about administrative formalities. He was quietly harvesting tormented souls along the banks of the Tiber, Tiber, when, for the only time in his mer miserable existence, a mortal soul managed to touch him with the sharpened tip of a lance. What? It's so interesting how there's lore for literally everything. Pumpkin! I'll explain to it to you one more time, Pump. So listen up. A prismium is a free pass. You can exchange it for anything in the company, no matter what it costs. Let's say that Mark doesn't have the amazing item you want. Well, your prismium lets you expand and shop with a bigger selection. Ooh! Okay! I'll add an asterisk to my report. It's great! You can buy anything you want with it. <laughs> but then again, you're an intern. You won't be able to take advantage of this until you're officially hired, unfortunate. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so on the nose. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seth, please hire Pump. They deserve it. Surely you think so too. They've been working so hard. I still don't know where I'm getting this anima. Poor baby. They just they just wanted to use they just wanted to be useful. I kinda wish you could um mark things on the map. But I don't think there is a map. Hi, Mr. Osha. spear right now let's go with to the ground ground attacks deal 15% bonus damage don't wait for me to roll out the ro red carpet how do you use this way okay I remembered sorry it took a while Equipment, storage, or solary prismium department, or the vault. Let's go to the solary prismium department and see what's there. I think you could definitely spend a lot of hours in this game because there's so many things you could do. There's so many different builds. So many different paths you can take. It's it's fun. Hello. Hello. that sad add vitam plus increases max hp by 10 pure life force kept pressurized for safety reasons normally it's meticulously stored in containers that are regularly maintained by the technical department but ever since the sorrow stampede anybody can find themselves with an extended health point bar it's a sensitive topic. 
the plot of this game is death was just peacefully reaping souls. Then he decided to give some sorrows power so that he could kind of sit back a little bit. And then eventually the company grew so big that he got confined to his desk and all he could do was stamp papers. Because in the end he has the final say on who actually dies and who needs to like go back and relive their life I guess. But eventually he became this small death that we see here and he's very burnt out by all the paper stamping. So now he's going out to go see what's up in the company and apparently people have been doing not great things. Mainly the sorrows. The sorrows are like the managers of the company. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredibly on the nose there's a warning at the very beginning of the game where they're like this shows depiction of all of the unfortunate things that may come from having like a terrible job and while it's supposed to be funny and kind of satirical some people might find it a little <laughs> Yes, it's just the office, but hell. <laughs> Hello? I do really love the tone of how everything is written. It just sounds so... <laughs> the amount of sass is very much appreciated, I think. Oh, shall we see what the lens is? Shakespeare? I missed. It was cool, though. It was very cool. I wish I didn't miss. More health, yay! There you go, Hall of Eternity. Um, before Death's business took off, the company's head office was on the surface in a rundown cathedral. Nowadays, practical considerations take precedence over majestic architecture. Tubes to transport solar run above the cubicles, and escalators have been installed so staff can move quickly between meetings. The offices have become a real little necropolis. A dynasty of enthusiastic gargoyles has sworn allegiance to death to defend the premises. Their last descendant to date continues to honor this pledge in, um, his own sort of way. <laughs> Ooh, lots of money. Yes, please. This is cool. So the idea it looks like is just to never get hit so that you can use anima on secret rooms like just now. Sounds like a plan. Just get good, right? <laughs> it's totally fine. Um I wish there's a there was a ma mouse over so I could know what these things do. I'm gonna go to the vault. Because I haven't been there yet. 
What's this? Or maybe I have been to the vault before? This area seems familiar. I'm getting a whole lot of HP. Hmm. Slight concern. Also, this game is just zoomies, and I love it. You have zoomies, and then dry humor. <laughs> Hi. Boss, 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 you have absolutely got to try this. What's your left? Isn't that swap station magnificent? If you've been lugging around some equipment you're not particularly attached to, you can exchange it in return for some solary. Maybe even a prismium. Ha! Huh. Jacob and Orvi did a ton of really complicated calculations to figure it all out. It went right over my head, but it works like a charm. Sounds like a plan. Set off exploding skulls around yourself. Oh no! I have. I'm four short of the prismium. That's awesome. Liberis skulls. This curse, created by a healer versed in the dark arts, is a small wonder of summoning magic. You can use it to summon a dead person's skull and produce a blaze of mana by making its cartilage spontaneously combust. The skull briefly appears in a cloud of greenish smoke before exploding, taking with it every hot-blooded life form in a radius of a few feet. It might need a few tweaks here and there if, they're, if you're planning to use it to clean up. Otherwise, it's perfect for emptying a packed ossuary. <laughs> Are they alright? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I think, I think their head's on a spike. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine though, right? He, he's fine. He's totally fine. Fireworks. Heck yeah. Anyways, next is Brad again. <laughs> Everyone's fine here. Oh my gosh. Didn't I just... You! Subdue the pyrogos. Subdue the stuff. Subdue the gargoyle who's making a fool of me. Ugh. You act like you're overworked and not right in the head. But hey, we all know you're a compulsive liar. What? Nice. Those skulls are really strong. Ah! I dashed the wrong way.
Okay, wait. I think something weird is happening with the dashes. Turn off dash helper. Ah! Excuse me? Stop it. I want to pet Brad. He looks like he would like pets. He's a gargoyle. I'm sure he would love pets. And screechies. No, seriously, boss. I, I didn't mean it like that. I'll get back to work soon, I promise. No. Get back to work right now. No compromises. <sighs> Breathe. Everything will be okay. Hello. Hmm. The cloak's cooldown is reduced by 15% or the cloak deals 10% critical. Go with re red, I guess, since we were red previously. That's a rather odd choice. Voyager. I see you. <laughs> I see you. I shake hands with you. <laughs> Feels too cooped up in over here. I don't like it. I'm going on another break. Vigor, vigor. It's vital in everything we do. Open. Sure, heal for 50 HP. Sure. I would, in fact, like some anima. <gasps> it's pump clean! People in suits, though. Just people in general in suits. So if I could change one thing at Death Inc, uh, I'd buy Brad a brain. Hasn't he got one already? What makes you say that? Of course he has, Pump. It's just a figure of speech. He's nothing more than a great big idiot who steals my post-its to shoot from his pea shooter and uses you like a paddle ball. Oh, yeah. That wasn't very nice of him. And where would you buy the brain? <laughs> Pump Quinn, I swear to god, so precious. All people in suits all the time, please. Thanks. Yes, agreed. Let's go to the toxic food processing department. What's this? Is it burgers? The toxic food processing department is a rather particular addition to the Death Inc. infrastructure. It's a conglomerate of machinery, conveyor belts, and large vats filled with just about anything that can be melted down or cooked to make even the most noxious snack look appetizing. The whole factory was built according to a blueprint designed in the 60s, and it was the Waldo Burgers brand's very first manufacturing firm. The main advantage of being a large corporation is that we can copy absolutely everything we buy, since it now belongs to us anyway. And in the end, the only people who care are those who didn't even like the company to start with. Oh my gosh. And literally burgers and fries and hot dogs in the back too. Damn. Don't call me out like this. Hey boss, just wanted to let you know I didn't get around to inspecting the offices in section A10PE. My left shoe fell into a vat of melted cheddar. The pleasure. And hopping through the toxic food processing department would have been the height of ridicule. In short, the results of the inspection are that everything Waldo is working on is more likely to make you want to throw up and die. Then die. That's everything from me. I think I've earned a little break. 
with a very, very strong copy. <laughs> okay. Burger. Uh oh. It's still up there. Ba ba boom. Oh no. Mix some sodium chloride, sugar, spice, and a large dose of X4 chemical agent into some chewing gum, and you'll get Waldo Burger's flagship candy. Bubba -ba boom <laughs> Oh no. This hot-headed bubblegum isn't about to let itself get chewed, so it takes a bite out of your face and neutralizes your cognitive abilities instead. You'll become an empty shell, incapable of the slightest action thereby allowing the bubble boom to take full control of your body. Thanks to the elasticity in the sugar, it can blow up like a balloon. And its spices are fury enough to make it explode with rage if you get on its bad side. According to the test subjects, the worst part is not being swallowed alive by mutant bubble gum. Oh no. What really gets them down is having to put up with its fetid breath the whole time. Ooh. <laughs> Oh no. Terrifying. Is that a takeout box? It's a takeout box! Waldo box is the colloquial name given to all products stamped Waldo Burger that are packaged up and delivered throughout the world to spread delicious desolation. I <laughs> hate Dios mio! <laughs> Treats and snacks are offered in a wide range of tastes and flavors. Sweet death. A range of desserts and sodas oops, that consumers have been tricked into believing are an essential part of a healthy diet. Oh no. Death Burger. The great classic that tastes of defeat. No <laughs> Don't say that. Not to mention, mention fatal fritas. Chips to be munched on, munched on between meals, even though you swear you're only going to have the one. No point in kidding yourself. All Waldo boxes, without exception, are packed with hydrogen. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. Hydrogenated, hydrogenated vegetable fats dressed up as sweet treats. Oh my gosh, it's crying. Look at it. What is what is this? It's a fry! Oh no! <laughs> she was a fry. Just a small fry. And now you made her sad. It's a fry! I'm sorry, fry! It's okay, you you'll feel better now, right? It's okay. She's in a better place. Is that? Oh my god. I'm gonna get hang out over here. I will read the little. Okay, so it looks like. Oh my god, look at them! Damn. Oh, this is hard. I will move this to storage, I think. No? Let's try the bow. Can I move this one? Does it? Yes, I can. Okay. They're crying! Do you hear that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, there was a thing. Where is it? Harakola. Harakola members are experts in dueling sabers, not to mention well-versed in martial arts. Unfortunately, for insurance reasons, they're not allowed to use katanas in the workplace. A disciplinary exemption was granted to them in 1988, permitting them to wield plastic straws as if they were sabers. Rather than appeal to courts or take the matter up with the unions, the Harakola warriors developed their own technique for manifesting their rage. 
committing seppuku by stabbing themselves with a straw and spilling their sparkling bile all over Death Inc's carpets. Jeez. Okay. I'm sorry, don't cry. Here. Here. You'll feel better this way. I'm guaranteed to feel better if you don't feel anything, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Good morning, boy. Let me try and get my mouse to leave the, the game. <laughs> I hope you had a good sleep. I think this is why... <laughs> oh no. This is going... I, I'm not sure I like the way this is going. Maybe this is why I like this game. Depression. Ow. Is there anything here? No. I think because it's so in line with my worldview, it makes me very happy. This is a sweet tart. A pop tart? As distributors of high vitamin candies to liven up meetings, the contents of sweet tarts are always up for debate amongst Death Inc. employees. Bubblegum? Sour candy? Those who are as foolhardy as they are ill-mannered have tried to lift up a sweetheart's wrapper to get a good look at what's inside. And they got a sucker punch in return. As it should be! Not only is touching your colleagues without their consent totally uncool, but it's also incredibly creepy. <laughs> nice. It's probably the caffeine. It's all the coffee. Clearly, it's all the coffee's fault. I do like the food department a lot. The food-themed enemies are very interesting. Intriguing floor. What's this? I feel that logic is both right and wrong at the same time. <laughs> uh... Okay. I just keep going, right? Oh, I see. Interesting. Let's go to the cloak store. Hello? Ow. Ow. There was nothing here. What did I do this for? I've been baited. Sad. Yeah, I... Oh, hello. Oh my god. Where is it? Hamburger. Hamburger? Hamburger. The other minions don't particularly enjoy working with the Hamburgers. For one thing, it's really hard to get any work done when eating you is on your colleagues' to-do list. For another, some of the other minions are jealous of the Hamburger's ability to fly. Yes, fly. Like crows or seagulls. Even if, as Jerry so aptly put it, we're not in high school anymore, if anyone, if everyone's running around trying to get little wings on their back or a stapler with their photo on it, you have to start wondering what sort of company we're working for. It flies? 
No, thank you. Hard, oh, hard pass. I don't know how to get up there. <laughs> I don't think I can get up there anymore. Well, good talk. They're like one of those cockroaches that you're like, oh, it's fine. As long as it's on the ground and then it opens its wings. <laughs> and then God forbid. <laughs> oh, it's a thirsty. Temporarily gain lifesteal. Elegant vial containing highly pressurized lifesteal. This is one of the Dredzeri's favorite ways of doing surprise inspections among employees of Death Inc. The substance is a subtle chemical composition improved by the th thirsty IRS or inadvertent ruin service. A very reassuring administrative body, in other words. The effect lasts of around 15 seconds. Gotta find some things to kill then. We got the Arashi Kunai. Unlike the Kaze Kunai, the hurricane tools were not forged by death. They were acquired a long, long time ago, before Death Inc. was even founded. Armed with his diploma from Old Cornell University, Death set out for the mortal world astride a livid pale gray horse. That horse was Pitbork. Pit Pitbork. Yep. Pitbook. Metamorphosed, because Death wanted to test out the spell that allowed him to become valedictorian, with top grades in all magic-related subjects. Boss fight? No? No. Interesting. What an interesting arena. Uh, what's in equipment storage? I'm just going to the not manager places because I'm curious what is in these areas. Music is really good though. Ah! <gasps> oh my god! No! Go up. Nice. What's this? Curse reroll. Oh, thank you. I probably need that later. That's usually a weapon or a spell. Ooh, nice. <gasps> Unleash a whirlwind of sharp edged paper man i'm getting so many interesting weapons ah yes as unbelievable as it may seem administrative documentation does indeed have its very own magical discipline torn admin is an advanced logistomancy spell that generates a mac 2 cyclone that picks up all the late files and paperwork as it passes when this happens, the paper contained therein becomes, ra becomes razor sharp and inflicts serious damage on anyone unable to meet their deadlines. Oh no. The nightmare of deadlines. Not only can you not oh, meet your deadlines, but you also have to get cut by paper. What a way to go. Thank 
next. Let's go to Osha. Hello? The music is so good. The, the environment is so good. I'm just gonna keep repeating myself, huh? The animations are so pretty. Hello? That's my paperwork. Ah! How dare you? And this is the Kaze Kunai. The Kaze Kunai, or wind tools, were all forged by Death himself before he decided to enter into a millennia long collaboration with Jacob that is still paying off to this very day. These knives are forged from a metal that is lighter than air, but much sharper than any mineral found on the surface. They open up to form a fan, which Death particularly appreciates when he's working out in the field. Wow, that's fast. Oh, it stacks. I see. This one is faster though, I think. It's like me more useful and I'm frozen slowed oh maybe the bubble gum hello go back to work I wonder how you get more um Journal entries. Is it just by killing things a bunch? Okay. Um. Let's go with. Infuse and bleed. What's the penalty though? I see. Motivation maybe? Minions gain plus 10 damage. For this level, so it's probably fine. Bleed? Never. Personally, I faster. And it's thick, I'll have you know. With two Cs? What's a stell? I feel like I should know what this is. It's right there. Destroy a stell to reveal its contents. I see. It's those white shiny rocks. Got it. This is one of the first games I played on stream. Nice. I hope you had fun. That's a control room. Picking all of the things that I haven't picked before. I will probably die at the next boss. Hello? You good, bro? Master, welcome home. You came just at the right time. Your wishes are my commands. You'll be well armed for combat. I don't report to the sorrows and I only take orders from you, master. What's this? You can upgrade your weapon, but... Is this... Is there a point to this, though? Because don't things... Oh. Hello. Oh, this needs Prismium. I see. But yeah, I don't know if there's a point to this because this things I thought 
things reset every time you die? No. Other than the scythe, I guess? So I should probably be prioritizing the scythe. Really good choice, master. Spend your solary or prismium to upgrade your weapons. Oh, I guess it, the, the upgrades stay. That's cool. Oh, wow. It's so good, cool to see you again, boss. What a nice surprise. Do you remember? The last time we met, I was really little. And you, you were, um, well, anyway, work. So, um, the sor sorrows have been getting bolder, but I've been working on some pretty cool stuff just for you. Ah, uh, and I see this is where you use prisms. I do, but this is for the run. I see. So it's per run. Got it. Oh, Waldo! Where's Waldo? Oh my god. 11 million deaths a year, that's what we call a career! Ba -ba -ba -ba. You're the one who brought it up. Great, let's save some time. Waldo, stop what you're doing. Both the singing and the overproduction. Let's wait and see, Mr. President. My very last modifications! Back here. What? How did I make that tornado go that way? Oh, that's how. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come down, sir! You're not you when you're hungry! Oh lord. Yep, that'll do it. Trying to stay alive, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness, okay. Oh, jeez, okay. Is that it? I must admit, I was expecting something a bit snazzier from all this futuristic kit. Ba 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 ba! You're loving it, Adwaldo Berger! It was truly a marvelous idea to put the lunatics and the poorly conceived robots in charge of all the departments. <sighs> Not at all. You're saying he's related to me? No, thank you. Hard pass. Ooh. Critical deals plus 50% bonus damage. Sure. Crit is also always good. Predictable. Have an awful day, sir. I do wish I could do accents better. <laughs> it would probably make it a lot more entertaining to listen to me fumble my way through these games. Who killed Pumpkin? Oh my gosh, she, she, they're, they're back. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, ouch! <laughs> I heard a crack. Oops. Oh, hello boss. How are things with you? What happened here, Quinn? Ah, uh, um, well, I was regenerating my pumpkin. Look, it's like you. Isn't that cool? No. Go for that. Oh. Um. I ordered a Waldo Super Supreme Hardcore Meal. Orvi recommended it. But I think I should have taken the vegan option because it was a little too hardcore for me. <laughs> I didn't know you could get eaten. That's new. Who would dare? 
The hamburgers from the toxic food processing department. Why? Do you want to try the meal yourself? Noted. They will see that there is always a bigger fish. <laughs> it sends shivers down my spine when you talk like that. Oh, Pumpkin. I will enact murder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Did you see that? There was a... The little blob in the top refilled the fridge. Boy, okay. Oh. Let me let me hydrate before I do this. It's always Harriet. And fantastic! 47 minutes, 12 seconds, and 18 hundredths of a second, Jerry. Not great! It took you nearly an hour to hop here from the toxic food processing department. Uh, uh, I, I can't take this anymore. Coffee! Coffee! It's a review. I'd avoid coffee right after exercise if I were you, unless you want to add 20 minutes of pointless effort to your average. Oh, God, that makes everything better. Best coffee of my afterlife. That's that then. Nearly an hour of good healthy exercise down the drain. Red card, Jerry, my pal. Red card. Yeah, well, now it's time to tackle the real obstacle course. I've gotta go see Patrick to put in my claim for my missing shoe. Oh no. He's still missing his shoe. Harriet. Reading Harriet's lines makes me tired. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, since we're doing a red build this time, we're gonna go to the physical illness apartment. I wonder if there's like stream integration with this game so that chat gets to pick where you go. Physical illness department. When it was first set up, the physical illness department looked quite different from the way it does today. It used to be an amphitheater, where the souls of mad doctors gave themselves free reign to discover the most disgusting miasma they could find to spread around the earth, led by the craziest amongst them, Corvacini Preston. He was a plague doctor who was most keen on sharing his ideas on hygiene during the medieval period, single-handedly resulting in the deaths of over a thousand people. But... Preston decided to retire shortly after a young Hector Crank arrived on the scene. He soon realized cancer and the most recent pandemic were far more effective than he had ever been. The costs in the break room don't reset, so be careful. Oh, crap. Okay, noted. So don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, it would be cool. Chop, chop. And reflexes, boss! Go back over everything we looked at together this morning. Here in the physical illness department, everything is designed to bring you down. Between you and me, boss, ever since you made him a sorrow, Hector's a little too in shape. I just came back from his office and I can't decide what's bigger, his claws or his ankles. Oh, it's real. Is that a heart? It's a heart. Working for the, the company can be stressful. Managing the constant pressure of Death Inc. requires a Herculean degree of sang -froid. As far as Hector Crank is concerned, making money is the main thing. Even if that means working 15-hour days with people who really get on his nerves. That's why most of his minions are known as walking heart attacks. The heartbreakers. And I got hit by something. <laughs> Oh! <gasps> no, 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 no. No, no. 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 Only I get to spawn shit. Hello. First hit list run. 
Nice. Good luck against the lab coats? Oh no. Take a look at Ulcer Monitor. There's a rumor going around that Grimes and Crank are stealing one another's ideas. When one comes up with a dirty trick to work as minion-like slaves, the other wastes no time in adopting the same technique to exploit his own workers, almost to the letter. The existence of the ulcer monitors in the physical illness department just confirmed this phenomenon. Grimes counts on his birdies to oversee his flock, and Crank has put his ulcer monitors to similar use. Oh boy. Hello? Is that acetaminophen pain? Ploplexal! Formerly the pills, tablets, and capsules of renowned pharmaceutical companies from the mortal world, the creatures known as Ploplexals represent a range of medicines that cause doomed souls to die and come under the care of Death Inc. In fact, these pills haunt the company's halls, waiting for the chemical components to be recycled so they can get back to work. They macerate for days in test tubes, filled with unappetizing liquids. Although they may look cute at first glance, make no mistake, they're hardened killers. Okay. What is this? Oh, it helps me go up, I see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go for this. It's it's an actual maze here. Oh, I see the lap goat. That's not good. Nursurian. Both the offices and the staff at the physical illness department stink to high heaven and are crawling with other infectious diseases that have a negative impact on the company's productivity. As a result, a special clause was added to the 1954 circular, enabling them to transform the spectral essence of any medical practitioner who passes away into a shadowy being, authorized to carry out emergency trepanation rather than recycling them into solary. This is where Nursurians come from. Um, even in death, you're not allowed to rest. Truly no rest for the weary, I guess. Hello, what's up here? Okay. We've been here, so time to go down. I see. That's what that was. Ooh! What's this? Rage stud. Bookstore. Let's go. I don't remember what this is. <laughs> There's so many different um oh, I got hit. That's not good. There's so many different um types of rooms it's hard to keep track of all of them i should possibly heal Fine, I'm only at 44. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll let my tornado do the work.
Easy. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's Shakespeare again. Oh, mm hmm. Mm, this is hard. I don't think I want this. I think I have a pretty good build going on right now. As long as you're confident, I guess. I am not confident. <laughs> I am pretending everything is okay. It's probably fine. Totally. Watch me die to the next new enemy. Oh my god, they fly. I live. <laughs> I am almost dead. Um, what is this? Let's try this. Ooh. Of the two blades that make up the lost tre treasure of Eleanor, the rightful queen of Aquadane, the Dragonor is the thicker one. When the twin swords fell into Jacob's expert hands, he decided to give the Dragaeanor an original twist in order to make it stand out even more from its sister blade. This sword has been enchanted and can launch projectiles that are as deadly as its razor sharp blade. Oh. Uh. I'm sad that I had to use Anima, but it's fine. It's probably fine. That's a jike. Gigantic pill. No. Not if I kill you first. What's up here? Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything up here. You have a map this entire time, and I didn't notice that you had a map. I could have been checking the map this entire time. <laughs> Logan. Mine. I would appreciate if you didn't. Bit new minions at me. Hello, Mr. Asha. Ooh. Let's go with 5% chance of dealing pierce. Penalties are gonna be fun. What is this? As far as these flamboyant trees are concerned, everything is fine. Sure. I haven't seen them yet, so that means it'll be fine, right? And don't forget, I'm not responsible for your failures. 
Alright, here we go. Where's me on this deposit? I played this game a bunch and I didn't know there was a map. <laughs> Every day you learn something new. I think this is where I'm possibly supposed to go. <laughs> oh no. At least it's kind relatively easy to figure out where you haven't explored yet. I say, but I think this map in general is just really big. This room. What in the world? Where am I? Uh, okay. I went the wrong way. There are so many. There's so many. There's so many places. Why is this map so big? If you hear people talking about go give Mark giving pretzels, go for it. Okay. Got it. Okay, there's a thing up there. So, should probably go get it. Hello. This seems like an area to give anima, anima secret room. Aha, I see. I unlocked the thing. But I don't know what I unlocked. Oh, it's over here. And those big balls of putrefied flesh floating over there? Is that one of the office's projects? That's our documentation filing system. At least we know where our data is stored. You simply have to drift through the pile and grab hold of an umbilical cord to ask for what you're looking for. Or it's all organized. Haha. -ha. <laughs> oh, that's such a bad pun. Oh, well, that's very handy. I don't suppose such an original filing system gives much cause for complaint. Oh, lord, that was such a bad pun. <laughs> um, to the right then. Hello? What's this? Prismiums are highly sought after and extremely precious vacation vouchers. A prismium can be used to buy an upgrade or transformation at the control room instead of spending your salary. You can also invest a prismium with Moniko in the shop in order to improve it and get better merch. So I just got PTO, but I only have one thing of PTO. <laughs> this is so sad. What is the Thanager's office? 
I died last time at a Sanager's office. So this will be fun. Mini boss? Ah, oh, I see. Here we go. Are you a mosquito? Oh my god. Okay. Not the aspids! I have the perfect magic for you. Sorry, I had to pay attention. <laughs> tornado is great. I like Tornado. A scythe deals 35 plus percent bonus damage. Yes. Shop prices increase with each purchase. That's unfortunate. I haven't seen a shop yet, so it'll probably be fine. My pleasure or displeasure, sir. It's all the same to me. What is this enemy that we just met? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> I know what's in here. There it is. Benzel King Dengue. Ding? Rapper, actor, influencer. Davy Dawson was a highly influential mosquito in urban circles. Originally from a reputable family of Seleucidae, Su Kokuligidae, he initially spent Two years working as a doctor before realizing he could have had, he could have an unlikely career as a hip hop singer. <laughs> Davy had his first hit with "Suck It" under the pseudonym Junior Juicy Palouse. <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry, boy. I think I have B. Excuse me, I have B something, but I don't know what if it's a plus or minus. You can probably tell if you believe in blood types. Hey, Jacob! <gasps> I can do more things. Don't. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Let's add it to the tornado because I've been using that a lot. Woke scythe or this scythe or sickles. <laughs> so A little discovery that's sure to surprise you. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go, Hector Crank. Where are you? To work. I'm gonna. Uh, first, the piece of junk equipment starts malfunctioning, and now here's the so called boss. Just great. Mm. I was going to fix the pandemic problem, but first of all, let's address the unauthorized use of company equipment. Hi. Are you a crab? Oh my god! Ah! 
I don't want it. I don't want it. Yikes. I'm waiting for him to like... seems a lot easier than what I've been hearing about this game. I wonder how they nerfed it. There. Now, Mr. Crank, a quick reminder of the company rules. One, respect the equipment. Two, respect your colleagues. Three, greet the CEO politely. Manners cost nothing, you know? Takes my dude. How many floors do I have? Death metal. Ooh. Or sinister gear. Fake it till you make it. Sice and cloth weapons. Deal 35% bonus damage. Yes, let's do that. Sure. I haven't really been healing anyway because they don't, they don't really. Don't look at me like that. Everything will be fine. I haven't really been healing with Anima because as it stands already, like even before the curse, it already was like not healing very much so i also have a pretty nice build that's nice thing <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> hello hmm okay Right, Mr. CEO has done a little critical analysis with Mr. Hector Crank and not a moment too soon in my opinion. Let's take a breather. Why would we want to do that? You've got to be kidding, Patty. He tore Hector a new one, right? Crab Maga style? It's a euphemism. Obviously it was a lot more brutal than that. Back when Mr. Preston was in charge, he had much better manners. That's true. He was nice, but he didn't smell great. You can be the sorrow of anthropozoonosis, sure, but a little deodorant before work never hurt anyone. <laughs> oh my gosh. The gossip. The gossip, though. Except for healing, at least. <laughs> so true. Haha. <laughs> it's fine, I don't need healing. The Modern Warfare Department has also undergone some drastic renovations to reflect developments happening on the surface. Humans are constantly coming up with new and more exciting ways to kill one another, and the art of war can be an effective answer to a number of economic, technological, and material problems that Death Inc. encounters. For logistical reasons, Death decided to categorize the different types of war deaths by time period, ranging from ancient history to the modern era. It has it has to be said that missiles, tanks, and planes take up more than their fair share of space. I don't think I pronounced it right, honestly. <laughs> but kudos. Right, so 25 times 158. Hey! Hello, hello, boss. Would you happen to know the approximate ceiling height here? I'm not sure if I should include the apocalyptic artificial sky in my calculations. Hmm. <sighs> This modern warfare department is such a nightmare. It's hard to concentrate with the Major's constant bombardments. Ask Joe about a sound insulation budget. Okay, looks good to me. I'll be off. I've got calculations to finish. Oh no, it's the trenches.
the cataract. Amidst the belligerent minions of the modern warfare department, these stunted soldiers look especially pitiful. When veterans, bumberons, and any other angry soldiers from the section fall in combat, the parts of them that are still useful are selected according to the conversion table for commercial military armament resources, or CDC MAR. One of the major's creations to recycle minions without having to unnecessarily recruit. But the minions recreated using this operation have a nasty defect. They're missing an eye. This is impractical both impractical, both for sighting targets and for pouring coffee without creating a cat catastrophe. Veteran. The first of the Major's minion recruitment drives was a simple process that took place during a historic conflict of hitherto unheard of violence. In the middle of World War I, all you had to do was drop into the trenches to find hordes of near recruits. Veterans are old soldiers who fell in no man's land, flattened by shells or suffocated by Cyclone A. Yikes. This is just a massive history lesson, huh? Sorry, I was too busy staring at the enemy. As you may have guessed from its name, the Department of Modern Warfare includes the cruelest and most vile abominations ever to have been created. Mortal perils hated by everyone the mortal world over. Bombora Bombaras are little girls. And some of the most highly feared employees in Death Inc.'s Pyramid of Horrors. Because everyone knows about the damage and destruction they leave in their wake. Okay. Coffee! I'm at 50 HP! I'll be fine. <gasps> More coffee! I'll definitely be fine. And just move that in there. <laughs> Child with bomb. <laughs> oh my goodness. I see shiny. Oh, I want it. Should I try it? Let's try it. Yeah, that didn't do much. That definitely didn't do much. Unfortunate. You know that... That's, that's the caffeine talking! It's okay! I'm okay! As long as I have coffee! I'll be okay. <laughs> oh. Hello. All the minions working under the Major are required to undergo military training. The Modern Warfare Department isn't just responsible for the filing out of paperwork and on-the-fly meetings. All these tasks are carried out as part of tactical operations. The seminar on mid-year investments? It'll be held at the same time as bom bombing a peaceful sit-in. Break time at the cafeteria? Affirmative. But not before they've carried out a dawn raid following drone recon. Wow. <gasps> it's golden! What's that? Whoa! Star Raving Mad is a funeral weapon, I think. There it is. Just like its counterparts in the star group, Star Raving Mad was created during antiquity when death was still out on the field, reaping mortal souls the old-fashioned way. 
hidden behind his cloak that had turned brown from the surrounding sand, Beth attended a play on the perils of Theseus at an amphitheater incognito. The stagehands who were operating the deus ex machina almost killed the masked actress playing Ariadne by dropping an enormous fake sun made of clay on her. <laughs> Impressive. Meteors! Should not have done that because I think this is the boss fight. Yep. What in the world? The recruitment process for minions known as the Salid is unique, to say the least, at Death Inc. When a minion from a different department becomes overwhelmed with their work, which is a common occurrence, what remains of their soul is instantly sucked into the well, recycling the little essence that remains into Solary, and the minion becomes nothing more than an obedient blob impervious to menial tasks. Jeez! Ah, I got hit. I just walked into that. That's my fault. I don't know how to counter that, actually. I shall stay up here. <laughs> not gonna do much but I'm fine it's fine hello what's this we'll be fine I'm at 32 health jeez light a mana department sounds like a good idea I think I will stop can I stop here today? Shall we? I guess I'll find out. Let me start the game again. See what happens. Yes. Okay. I will stop here today. <laughs> because I don't think I'm gonna end this run. And I am sleepy. <laughs> I think I might end up... Um, ruining the run, throwing the run with sleepiness. It saves every time you go through an elevator? Nice. And thank you for coming to hang out. <clears throat> I can feel myself slowly leaving. <laughs> My eyes are crossing. Just slowly unfocusing and no longer focusing <laughs> thank you for coming to stream this is a really fun game i'm not sure how long we'll keep going with it but we will keep going with it yeah thank you for coming and listening to all of my reading I'm sure it's actually a lot longer the way I'm playing it because I keep reading the lore, but the lore is really interesting. Yeah, on Friday, I will be drawing. And before that, actually, is that this week? Yes, it is this week. Friday, I will be joining Moe's anniversary stream. Yay! I'll be excited for that. And then right after, I will be drawing. <laughs> I hope to see y'all there. But until then, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe, everyone. Hayari. Good night.